Figs fill of the day. Yes. All right, dude. Figs fill the day this week. It's pretty crazy, man. It's pretty crazy, Phil. It's like, I think I know what it is, but let's just check it out first. Check this fill out. This fill, man, it's like it's like a Dennis Chambers kind of thing. I've heard Dennis do a, a similar fill like that. Um, but Fig does it, and it's just like, it sounds like Fig, man. I'm like, it's just, it's dope. Okay, so I think this fill, here's how I'm hearing it, okay? I think this is uh, either six-stroke roll or a paradiddle diddle played as triplets. I think I'm hearing them as 16th note triplets. At first I thought they were 32nd note triplets, but I think they're 16th note triplets now. I have a fill that's <laughs> similar to this, but it's also very different. So it's like using the ride and the, and the rack and it's using a six stroke roll. And then in the middle of that, it has just like a triplet in the middle. So we have to figure out the like sticking pattern, which is like I said, I think six stroke or, or, or paradiddle diddle. And then we have to figure out the like subdivision. Yeah. Well, it's hard. Cause there isn't a lot of context as far to as base like, it off of, right? Yeah. It's just kind of like the fill yeah. and we don't know. It's not like he was jamming on a groove and then, rip the fill over the you yeah know. so yeah. to me it, i mean i think it's like tuplet or not tuplet yeah and then if it you know you could use it if you're tup if you're doing it as like a 16th o triplet or a 32nd o triplet doesn't really matter that much it's yeah it'll be it's, like the same phrase idea as far as like timing with the, the beat right right um Okay, so we can agree that it is definitely triplets. I heard it as triplets. I heard it as triplets as, too, as some, right away. Some form of tuplet, yeah. Yes, I, I heard that right away. And then I think we're in agreement that it's a six stroke. I think it's six stroke. I think it's six stroke. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to take this to your office, <laughs> figure this out and write this out, yes. and explain it to us in a way that we all can understand it. I'm going to try. I think you're going to do great. <laughs> I'll do All my right. best, okay? Fig's incredible, so I'm going to try. <laughs> All right. Fig and Fig. Phil yeah. figuring out Fig. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, what's up, Brigadiers? It's Funky Phil here. I am about to get into that crazy Tim Fig Newton drum fill that you guys just saw. Um, it's pretty nuts. And... Because it, it kind of fades in and he's not really playing a groove leading into it, it's kind of out of context of time. So we kind of had to, I kind of had to figure out where I thought he was placing the sense of time in it. Um, so what I was feeling was basically when he starts doing those hi-hat jabs as, as one, he sneaks in with a roll some 16th notes he's doing left hand lead which makes it extra hard he starts getting into this interesting uh six stroke roll phrase where it's left hand lead and he's doing a hi-hat jab with his left hand and his right foot on the downbeat and then the four doubles and then the final stroke with your right hand on the floor tom and he does two of those and then a spare three 
where he does an extra floor tom and two snares uh, with the snares with his left hand again. He does that twice, and then he goes into a run down the toms with the kick incorporated, basically. That's how I was feeling it. I hope that's right, Tim. <laughs> the hard thing is, well, first off, it's an int- it's a weird phrase. It's really cool. Um, but also being able to do it that fast with that level of power and precision is just so hard because you can see when Fig does it, it's just like crystal clear, very articulate, very specific, and he makes it look easy, which is messed up. Anyway, so here's my best here's my my best take at trying to do it around Fig's tempo. So don't judge me too harsh. All right, well, that was me trying to do Fig's fill. And uh, I'm definitely not Fig, not as clean or fast or powerful. (laughs) But I did my best, and I'm going to keep working on it. And hopefully I'll get it better. Um, But here is me doing it nice and slow with a click. Um, So you can see kind of how it goes slowed down without it being like slow-mo vision. So here's that. Three, four, one. All right, so that was it nice and slow. So that should help lining up how to play it. So here I've isolated the main theme that we talked about where it's like the six stroke roll, left hand lead, split up between the floor time and the hi hat with the kick twice. And then the spare three where you do the, the floor time and two snares. One, two, three, four. four. And that's the main phrase. Here's that phrase as an over the bar phrase, just continuing the 16th note triplets without stopping. So kind of, you just keep repeating the phrase over the bar line and it winds up landing on and off the the main beats, which makes it kind of sound interesting because it's a 15 note phrase. (laughs) So it takes five measures to cycle all the way through, but I just did four measures because, you know, a lot of music is phrased in four measures and it's good to be able to do something for that length of time and come out of it as a starting point. Um, obviously, you can take it further if you want, but here's it as a four measure phrase. One, two, three, four. All right. Now, continuing with that idea of taking it a step further and trying to see what other ways you can use that one sticking pattern. It's, a, it's something I like to do a lot is once I have one sticking pattern really nice and solid is try changing the timing of it, like where, it, what your subdivision is. So we are doing it as 16th note triplets. So now I'm going to make it 16th notes. So that kind of changes it. It's still going to be weird over the bar phrasing um, as 16th notes, because again, it's 15, it's a 15 stroke phrase. So it doesn't doesn't line up neat in one measure again. I really think a good thing to do when you're doing this is to try all the permutations. So it's cool when you have it written out, you have every measure written out, you can start at whatever measure you want in the phrase and get good at doing every permutation of how you could do it as 16th notes or 16th note triplets or 32nd notes, which you'll see in a bit. But here's the 16th notes. One, two, three, four. All right, so that was it as 16th notes. Sounds pretty weird. It could definitely build some rhythmic tension when you need it. Next up, 32nd notes. All right, that was Fig's fill number one. And I took it 
to 16th notes over the bar, 32nd notes over the bar, but I didn't reorchestrate it. So meaning I didn't change what I was hitting within the phrase. That'd be the next step probably is to get it moving around. Try every permutation also. So as you do the over the bar business with the um, 16th note triplets and 16th notes and 32nd notes, try starting at each measure and try it at different, you know, a different starting point so you can really figure out where you would where you like it best and where it would line up for a musical situation best. That's what I would do probably because some of them it's kind of awkward coming out of the phrase and hitting one if that's what your intent is. So there's probably, if you start start on a certain measure and you're doing it for like two measures, it might come out really nice for you to hit one with a crash if you start on a specific measure. So I would explore that. Like I said, explore different orchestrations around the kit and just work on getting it <laughs> faster and cleaner and more powerful like Fig does it. Fig, you're a maniac. That was an awesome fill. I can't wait to do the next one. I hope you guys dug it. Fig's Phil. Man, Funky Phil, you're really good at what you do. Yeah, I think I got it. I think that's exactly what it is. That was it? Yes. We'll have to ask Fig. Yeah. That was dope. Um, <laughs> Fig, your fill is incredible. And we're going to have another one for you next week. Yes. Fig's Phil of the day. Fig's Phil's. <laughs>